Hi, good afternoon everyone. This is Aki again from Aki's Garage. Welcome to another video. Video today is for another uh, ECU cloning. As you can see guys, I got two uh, ECU here. Those ECU is for uh, BMW 1 Series uh, E87. And uh, this is the EME number, uh, MSD812. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna use again Ovidia star. So let me just uh, point my camera right here. I just plug my 12 volt power, turn it on. So from here we go to the ECO flash. We just accept and then we go to the ECM. We just enter. And then we go straight to the search and we just search the DME number which is M S D eight one yeah that's the one this is the actual DME number so we go to the uh, pinout so I'm gonna use uh, P004 adapter as you can see this is the P004 adapter so I'm gonna use that one we just say okay and this is the image of the uh, DME we go to the connector pin out and this is the connector pin out so I'm gonna do my pin out and then I'll be back Well guys, I done all the wiring uh, connector pin out so I just put my camera right here Okay, so we go back from here. We just say start. Just say okay. Okay. We just say connected. So the ignition is off, the switch is off. Okay, we just press okay. So we just switch the ignition on you just say okay as you can see everything is connected so what we're going to do we're going to read the apron first all right so let's see Save this as O O G. Okay. Okay. All right. So the EPROM uh, read successfully. Now we're gonna read the flash. Alright, now we're gonna save this one as O R G as well. Okay, okay. Now we're gonna get the EPROM as well here. Just save that one as O R G. Okay. Now we're gonna get the is n number so this is the is number let me just take a photo so this is the original is number so I just save this one I say okay 
so now I'm gonna disconnect yes so put the ignition off okay and this is the original uh, DME take off all the connector and connect to the new DME and uh, try to transfer all the information from uh, original DME to the uh, new DME Oh guys, I uh, connect the new DME so I'm gonna put my camera back to the OBD star so we just say connect so the switch is off now I turn the ignition on okay Uh, before I do anything, I'm gonna read the ISN number. So let me confirm with the uh, genuine DME ISN number. Oh, guys, this is the actual uh, genuine one, and that's the old one. You can see it's completely different. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say okay. So from here we're gonna write the integral EPROM okay August as you can see this is the integral EPROM data and I mark it as original we just say that one okay okay we just say yes as you can see the writing uh, successful now we're gonna go to the flash data okay yeah this is the actual flash data I just say okay okay now Okay, uh, the flash data got successful. Now we're gonna write the external EPROM. We just go here. Okay. Yeah, this is the external EPROM data. So we just push that one here and just we say okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's successful as well. So, uh, let's we read the ISN code again. All right. So, this is the actual uh, or original uh, ISN code number. As you can see, this is exactly the same. So, that means uh, all the data has been cloned successful. So we're gonna just disconnect from here. Just say yes. So we just switch off the ignition. We just say okay. And that disconnect successful. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take off all the connector. And that's all good. So uh, that should be uh, plug and play so it doesn't need to do any coding or programming uh, just plug and play I hope you guys enjoy the video I hope there is some information for someone and like always thank you very much for watching